Hi there, um, in this video I'm just going to make a brief introduction to SAML for Matomo Analytics. A uh, brief introduction because I'm not definitely not an expert, I'm just going to try to explain what I understood about uh, this uh, given uh, premium feature for uh, Matomo Analytics. So it's about SAML and uh, SAML stands for Security Assertion Markup Language, so to say. Uh, that's uh, a technology in order to exchange authentication and authorization uh, between parties. So uh, here we are mostly dealing with the, the credentials. So let's say um, um, identifier and password and all those identifier and password, you want to share them among parties. So for example, the SAML provider and uh, Matomo Analytics, the SAML provider and uh, WordPress, the SAML provider and Moodle and Wiki and whatever. In fact, it's kind of a central place uh, which is going to be used in order to exchange uh, the credential with all those uh, different platforms in order uh, to, of course, save some time. So it means that uh, your user, when they want to log in to a platform, they just need to know one single login without uh, knowing each uh, login for each platform. So it's a premium feature uh, that uh, when you install it on the platform, it's available for all the different users and all on the different websites. Uh, it seems kind of scary at the beginning uh, because of the settings, but just to let you know that if you are an analyst, you're not the ones going to deal with that. That's definitely the job of the system administrator because it deals with uh, security. It's like... Um, LDAP, it's not that difficult, so you need to learn about it. Um, so in my case, uh, I used one login. So here um, they are giving you the different uh, identities or SAML provider uh, that you can use. So one login, OTAP, Immunotify, DFS, Google, Salesforce, SharePoint. Uh, in my case, I use one login because they have a 30 trial period. Uh, so here, is uh, the one login platform on which I um, created a trial account. As you can see, you can browse the different app and say, for example, you would like uh, to add an app, which is a WordPress, and then you need uh, to inform here about uh, the different uh, credential that you would like to share. And you have as well the possibility to find one from Matomo. In my case, I use the one of uh, I use the one named Piwik, not this one, but the other one. Sorry for that. Week um, return to portal. Okay, there's another P week which is uh, lying around, uh, and I install in fact uh, this one. And when you install this one, then it's going to ask you several questions, and those questions need to be answered. Um, and in order to answer those questions, what you will need is that you will need to get within uh, Matomo Analytics. You need to click here on access to uh, service provider data. It's going to give you the data of Matomo that you need to export. So it's an XML file uh, or code uh, that you copy and paste within the uh, SAML provider. And on the other way around, uh, when you are on a platform in itself, such as uh, this one, so this is, oops, this is the app that I added. Uh, so when you go like this, uh, applications uh, here. So when you enter within this one, uh, when you click uh, over here on more action and you click on uh, uh, SAML metadata, then you get in fact uh, the information for one login that you need afterwards to uh, to paste uh, over here. So you click over here on import values, the LDP uh, metadata, it's giving you the possibility to import the XML. Once this is uh, made, what's going to happen is that uh, when you land on a page such as this one, instead of entering your uh, login and password over here, the only thing that you need to do is just to say, OK, um, I want to log in with, with SAML. So for this, uh, you will need this checkbox to be filled in. And the final result is the following one. So automatically, it's going to discuss with uh, the uh, one login uh, server and give you a straight access without uh, knowing, in fact, your login and password format. And that's what uh, SAML is about, so the possibility for you to get an easy access to your Matomo without knowing uh, your credential for, for Matomo Analytics. And of course, uh, the big idea behind is to use uh, all the time your uh, SAML provider for all the different platforms that uh, you are used to connect with. So it's definitely a, a huge advantage for a company with many employees and many different platforms who don't want to spend 
hours and hours in uh, managing uh, login and password and, and people who want or need to change them uh, very frequently. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.